Hello and welcome back to another cool video. Today we're playing Mario Kart 7. I would play Mario Kart 8, but I don't have a capture card. So you may be wondering why play Mario Kart 7 then on this oh, on this skilled recording when you could just do the same for Mario Kart 8. And the answer to that is, uh, I don't have Mario Kart 8 on me right now, so we're just gonna play Mario Kart 7. This game's better anyway. And we're just gonna do the mirror tracks, because I haven't done those yet. And I'm going in blind, even though they're all courses that I've already done before. Just backwards, because that's how mirror works. And we're doing pretty well already, we're in fourth place. We didn't get hit by that red shell. We're dodging everything. Narrowly. And we threw... Okay. That was just kind of rude. Okay. That was just kind of rude. And it knocked me into the... into the grass, which there's no easy way to get out of. See, this game is way better than Mario Kart 8 because it's way more punishing. Again? How? There was just enough, there was literally just a red, sh or f blue shell the last time I was in for, and I get red shelled? What the hell is this game? Why is this the, well, first of all, the computers are stupid, but second of all, this is just completely unfair. So this game is better than Mario Kart 8 because it's more unfair. What? You're telling me that I get knocked into the grass, but she gets to cross the finish line during the hit animation? That's just cheating. Oh, and now it's her track, so she's going to get the gold. Was really hoping for gold. This game has better graphics too. Like, just look at these. You can see the pixels. That's the sign of a good game. That's why all the games I made, the many games that you've all played, such as Undertale, that's why all the games that I've made. Uh, that's why they're pixelated. That's why you can see all the pixels, because the pixel games are better. Some other games I've created, you know, like SteamWorld Dig. You played that game. Please tell me you've played SteamWorld Dig. If you didn't play SteamWorld Dig, then we can't be friends. Even if we were already friends, we can't be friends anymore. Uh, SteamWorld Dig is just a really good game. And it's way better, honestly, it's way better than Mario Kart 7, but... This is a Mario Kart 7 video, so I can't really, uh, be saying that. Who knows, maybe after this race I'll, uh, do some Mario Kart, uh, SteamWorld Dig content. Because I think I got that somewhere on my, uh, Vita. And even if not, I think I bought SteamWorld Dig 2 on Switch, so that's close enough, right? That green shell almost got me. I was about to get the full spe full shell special. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah.
Ooh, what if I went here? See, that's my comeback. That's my comeback. Now I'm in first, probably. Maybe Bowser's in first. Nope, I'm in first. And I totally deserve it. That track was hard. Can't be spinning out. That's the sign of being slow. You see, another reason this game is better is because the controls are way more sensitive. And while some normies such as yourself may see that as a bad thing, in a game like Mario Kart, where you want to, to be driving, and, you know, the rule about driving is you want everything to be, uh, slow and calculated. You want to ease into things. I would know. I've, I've driven before. Like, one time I drove a whole kids, a whole bus of kids to Wendy's. I don't have any footage of this, of course, but you can trust me. You've trusted me all this time. You know that I am trustworthy with your trust, I guess. Like, why would I lie to you? About Mario Kart and being able to drive? Those are all very normal human things to be doing. Apparently not for these people though, because they keep not they keep running into me. It's just Are you kidding me, Mario? I'm gonna beat your skull in for that, Mario. You ain't do you ain't doing that, Daisy. No, no, this is mine. This is my time in the spotlight now. Oh man, Daisy must be devastated because I beat her twice. And totally not cold because it's an AI. But now it's time for the hardest track. Shy Guy Bizarre, they always leave the hardest for last. Did you know that? I mean, it's only natural that they would do that because it's Mario Kart. And the hardest tracks in Mario-related things are always last. Or I guess in some Mario-related things, it would just be courses. Not really tracks. See, if this is so hard, I went straight down to fifth and I didn't even get hit by anything. What? Yeah, I'll make up for it. I got a star. Sorry, I just had to look at the map. It's kind of hard to do that. Because I had, my camera setup is in the way a little bit. Of the bottom screen. Are you kidding me? A blue shell? In 2023? Have you no heart? Apparently not. That toad just laughed at me and it's toad. I better just go delete my channel for letting toad laugh at me. Oh, it's over for you, Mario. Some memers would even say it's Jover for you. I am not a memer. 
I would just say it's over for you. Now, call me a propaganda artist, but haven't you noticed that there was never a blue shell for anybody but me so far? Like, I got three blue shells, and everyone else got none. Now, it may be because I'm super good at this game and was in first most of the time, and that's plausible, but... I think it's just because the computers are out to get me, and for some reason the computers get better stuff than me. And I shouldn't even have to back that claim up, because everyone knows that the computers in Mario Kart and Mario Party cheat. But I don't need to cheat back, because I just won the Grand Prix. Booyah. That was only my second attempt. Luigi number one. Luigi's the best character in Mario Kart 7. But only because Tanuki Mario is not there. Alright, time for, uh, the next race. Next Grand Prix, the Mirror Flower Cup. I did not look at any of the tracks listed. Here we go. So where am I? No way, is this Wii Sports Resort? But this is a 3DS game. Well, it's certainly not easy when you get exploded by something. No, 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 you ain't doing that. Oh, wait, this is a three-part track? You're telling me I gotta do three whole parts when I'm already in fourth? Man, this is gonna go so poorly. The only way from fourth is fifth. And once you're in fifth, you can't go back. Oh! Oh! Would you look at that? Speak of the devil, uh, from ten minutes ago. Or, more like four, but... You get the point. Now it's time for my... It's my turn in the first place. Like... The power-ups are better in this one, too, because uh, this was before they added the coin as a power-up. So you only get cool things like bananas and green shells and winning. I love the winning one. I already got 10 points. I'm going to win this one even easier since I already got an easy lead or early lead or whatever. Mario Circuit, whatever. Let's go, 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 let's go. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just making nonsense. It's time. Nah, Koopa Troopa, it's a Jover for you. Wait, I said I wasn't a memer. No! You guys watched the Mario movie? I heard that they had Rainbow Road in it. Sadly, I can confirm it's not the 3DS Rainbow Road, which means that it is a terrible Rainbow Road, and I hate it. Because the only good Rainbow Road is the 3DS one. Not even the N64 one is good, and that one has a massive cheese in it. Well, 
You deserve that, Daisy, for last time. Making me not get first once. I guess it didn't bounce back and hit Daisy. That's real sad. Goodbye. And here comes the blue shell. You guys watch the Mario movie? I heard they had a blue shell in that. I heard it was a Mario Kart reference. Although I don't think the hazard light sound played. So honestly, I think they failed. Uh, the Mario movie gets a 0 out of 4 power stars for me. You guys know that the Mario movie actually had the superstar sound effect from uh, Mario Kart 7? So, uh, that's a pretty good movie, to be honest. It gets eight red caps out of four green caps. Oh, and it had the, tanu I heard it had, uh, the Tanuki suit. So, now it gets, you know, like, from Mario Kart 7. So now it gets six out of four. Wait, that's worse. Oh, no. Did I not like the Tanuki suit? Oh yeah, that's right, because the cat suit's better. Wait, the cat suit's in! Eh, but the cat suit's not in Mario Kart 7. Therefore, it gets 0 out of 5 cartwheels. Which are not the same thing as Mario Kart wheels. Because Mario Kart wheels can be wooden, for some reason. No way, Music Land? I think the first time I played this track was in... Mario Kart 7? Was all of my first experiences with any track in Mario Kart... in Mario Kart 7? Did I experience any track not in Mario Kart 7? Even the Mario Kart 8 exclusives? Did I even experience those in Mario Kart 7? This is a crisis. And I'm not winning, which is even more of a crisis than my identity crisis that I'm having right now. Oh, and no, it's not my identity. I, I know who I am. I'm Tara Mark. You're the one having the identity crisis there. Uh, it's more of a game identity crisis. Like, did I experience the entirety of Mario Kart... The first... All the Mario Karts in Mario Kart 7. That can't be, because this is my first time playing any of the mirror tracks. Here go. Oh my god. That's not fair. That's just not fair. They cheated. I will file a complaint in court for that. Did you notice that there's banana peels and Mario mushrooms and from Mario Kart 7 in the Mario movie? So, uh, I'd say that the Mario movie gets one out of... It gets one. Nuh-uh. You ain't getting me this time. No, I didn't catch up in time. Koopa Troopa got the lead. I didn't finish in first for one race. Oh, it's so Jover for me. Yeah, it's so Jover. If I fail one more time, then I'm gonna get not first place. 
And we can and we can only accept gold in this. We're not taking any participation awards. Because a second place trophy is just as bad as a clap from Lakitu. So we're going all in. No way, this is the track from Mario Kart 8. Did you guys know that Mario Kart 7 is actually before, or is actually after Mario Kart 8 chronologically? It's a rare fact nobody knows. They actually made hey, Mario Kart 8 as a prequel. And did you know that the Mario movie takes place before... Did you guys know that the Mario movie takes place after Mario Kart 7? That's a really weird fact that nobody knows either. People should get their facts straight by getting them from me because I'm the most trustworthy source. Don't look at the Mario wiki or Wikipedia. They're untrustworthy. Your teacher is right. Mar All events in the Mario universe have led to Mario Kart 7. And all events in the Mario 7 universe have led to this moment of me trying to overtake Koopa Troopa. Who, I don't even know why Koopa Troopa is a character in this game, considering they're a nameless troop in Bowser's army. And because they have the no-name role, uh, I'm gonna get Blue Shell, so I'm just gonna get that- What the hell? That's just not fair. Alright, no more Mr. Nice Me. This time, this time we are getting first place for longer than one second thanks to a blue shell. Which, again, there's only been one blue shell since, since I was not in first. And there's been how many since I was in first? Uh, like, four? Why is there so many blue... This game's cheating. And I shouldn't even have to prove it to Mario Kart player that this game's cheating. What the hell? Where did you come from? God damn it, Daisy. Wait, Koopa Troopa already passed the end? How did they do that? How are they so far ahead? I lost? Guys, I lost. I'm gonna murder Koopa Troopa in his sleep now. Oh, God. And now it's time for. We'll fucking get back to that. Uh, it's time for whatever the next. Grand Prix is. We'll get back to... Alright, Star Cup. This one has hit tracks like Piranha Plant Slide. I played that on Mario Kart 8. And since this game takes place after, that must mean that this one will feature harder CPU. Because Mario Kart 8 CPU are kind of stupid. They are extremely easy to overtake. But in this game, everything hurts. Even if you get hit by behind from behind, that'll somehow slow you down. Getting hit from behind will give your her opponents the lead somehow. Will give whoever hit you the lead somehow. So even though logically that would push you forward right in front of them. That's not how Mario Kart Kart 7 plays. Okay, so that one was a little bit of a lie. I'll admit that. But you know what is true? This game, f game removes your power-up if you don't... Hey, you get your power-up removed if you fall off the track. Hey, that's real. And I would prove it to you, but... 
that would kind of slow my roll. Something fun about this game is that the super glider is actually not the best glider, but it is, but, uh, something actually fun about this game that's worth knowing is that, unlike in Mario Kart 8, the gliders are actually all different. Which means that they've upgraded the gliders since 8. And you may be wondering, if 8 takes place before 7... Then why is 7 in a lower number? Well, you see, it's simply because 7 is more lucky. You didn't even think about that one, clearly. But the lucky part is, of course, referring to your CPUs, who get everything except what you want. Who get everything except the thing that would make them fall behind. And you are actually on the unlucky side, where you get everything that will make you fall behind. And you just have to deal with that. I think this will be the last one, uh, the last uh, Grand Prix, because this video is getting to 30 minutes and I'm not gonna edit this shit, so... We're... this is the last one. This is the last Grand Prix. But this is not the last race, worry not. After this one, we have... I don't know, man, it's been so long since I've played this game. Well, that's not true. It's been so long since I've played the Star Cup. Because the Star Cup was easy. The Crown Cup was what took me forever. Because I'm a gamer, who only gets tripped up on the last three courses. You're not gonna... You're not seriously thinking about trying to overtake me, are you, Daisy? Uh, what? I'm the god at Mario Kart 7. All moments in previous Mario Kart games have led up to this moment. Chronologically and because this is the moment today. This is the present day. And there's no past today. What the hell? Why is this thing so bad at turning when it's using the... Deserved hot dummy. I hate you, Daisy. I hate you, Mario. I hate you, Daisy, more. I hate you more, though, Daisy. Get the hell out of... Get the fuck out of here, Daisy. I'm not even... I'm so mad at you, Daisy, that I can't even stop my swear filter. That my swear filter can't even stop me. The other way around. Uh. I'm so mad at you, Daisy, that I can't even articulate words correctly. And that's bad, because I actually used to be Shakespeare in a previous life. And he knew how to articulate words like a mofo are you kidding me oh and she gets it of course she gets it of course daisy the goody two-shoes gets that meanwhile i the person who's actually playing the game don't get it and i know i'm actually playing the game because i'm ahead of daisy 
So that means that I'm the actual player here, and I'm not the AI. And that means that Luigi number one. But now it's time for the cool track. Neo Bowser City, which, believe it or not, originated in Mario Kart 8, and then it was brought over from Mario Kart 7 because they liked the concept. I got a spin out. I hate this game. Believe it or not, I actually hit that banana peel strategically, and I fell off the edge unstrategically, it's just that people well, knocked me off because this game is shit. Now you may be wondering, if this is the upgrade to Mario Kart 8, then what happened to the hollow bike, or whatever the hell the anti-gravity thing is called? And the answer to that is actually rather simple. It was bad, so they scrapped it. Might have a weird buggy hollow bike that could break down at any moment when normal cars already do that. So they... Get fucked. Oh, what the fuck? Shut the hell up, Mario. And Daisy. You suck, Daisy. You're not even ahead of me. I don't even know where you are because I can't look at half the map, but... You s Fuck you, Daisy. Go suck a... Go suck a slimy Koopa Troopa. And you know they're slimy because you know Bowser doesn't let them bathe. Maybe bathe in a vat of molten fire as f molten as fire. Wait, fire isn't molten. What am I saying? Have I lost my mind? Comment below if I've lost my mind. And if you truly think so, smash that subscribe button. Just as I smash that sign. Get out of here, Mario. This is my victory. Nobody cares about you, Mario. Uh-oh, guys. Daisy might win if I'm not careful. Well, it's time for... Well, I don't know what Maku Woohoo is, so... I'm just gonna assume it's not sexual. Wait, is this Wii Sports Resort again? Didn't I do that last time? Didn't I just do that on the last fucking course? Last fucking Grand Prix? Last cup? Whatever? Does it matter? Why am I doing woohoo again? Why are there two woohoo stages? This isn't even Mario Kart Wii! Which, if you have been paying attention, you'll know that Mario Kart Wii actually takes place before Mario Kart 7. Just like Mario Kart 8. Oh, and this is a section track too? What's on my left now? Oh. Get out of here, Koopa Troopa. Okay. Okay, I'll just hold it then. You guys just get to look at the map now, because I'm not setting that back up mid-race. You may have noticed that the quality has depreciated a little bit, alongside my will to live.
And the only reason that that's depreciated is because for some reason, I still am not in, like, fourth place even. What the hell? Right before the thing? Okay. Okay. So I got the last laugh, though, because I got third place, which means that I still actually win the Grand Prix. And I'm not coping. I honestly don't even know how I got third place, but I did, okay? Alright, now we do the zoom out, and the screen is black. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! I got first place! Okay, goodbye. I'm done.